Hello, everyone. I'm so glad I can see you because I almost could not. My topic today is how to make your science beautiful. My name is John. And I am a scientific illustrator. We can do a quick practice. We will make something like this. That's similar to the nature style. When you open the file, you should see this a table of data. Let's create a line chart. Let's go to insert and here to the line and just insert the line graph. By default, this is what we get. And it looks very amateur, right? If you submit this to your professor, they immediately know you have not done any extra work on this. That's give it some makeup. I like to move the chart to a new sheet. Right click it and then move chart to new sheet. Okay, so now we have this. And do you see the faint outline around the graphics? We don't need that one. Format chart area, then you can find border and switch to no line. Then you can remove it. The first thing we will fix of the main chart area is the axis, the X axis and the Y axis. We need to make them the thickest line. Let's select the X axis. Go to format and also open the line tab. If it's not already open, just open it. And color, we can switch to black. Width, we can switch it to three. So now you get a really thick line. In the nature example, you'll see that they have these ticks on top of the numbers. Let's add the tick marks. Come down here, a major type, choose outside. But now the tick marks are in between the numbers. We want them to be on the number. So we need to go a little bit up here in the access option, you can find on tick marks. Click it, then you can put them on to the right place. All right, now let's fix the Y axis for the thickness and the style. It's the same thing. Change it to black with three. Okay. But now the maximum value of the y-axis is way beyond the data. It's only until 100. We don't need that 120. So we need to remove it. So just go to axis option, ma maximum, change it to 100, and you can remove it. And now we have too many numbers on the y-axis. So we need to change the unit intervals to 20, then you will only get five. The first thing is I would delete the chart title. We don't need this because we, we will have the title in a figure legend anyway. It will be redundant. Let's increase the font a little bit. For this type of presentation on the screen, I would recommend 36. 32 is also fine. Then people at the back can also see it. Right. <laughs> can you see it? It is 36, there you go even without glasses. But on the printed paper, it's better to be 12 or 10. For the fonts, Arial and Helvetica are the two fonts that most of the journal guideline recommends. The lines for the scale, we need to make them into dash lines. Let's select these lines, choose the dash type, the fourth option here. And the width, it should be fading into the background because this is not the main focus, so you can keep it very thin. And do you notice there are some corners on the line? It looks ugly. We want them smooth. So you can go to, come here again to fill in line. In line, at the bottom of the tab, you can find smooth line. Check it, then they're smooth. Okay, let's do the same to the gray line. And for the gray line, I'll just keep it gray. We don't add too many color into the graphics. It's better to have only two colors. And this is orange at the moment. I would just change it to red. We can change the color here in fill in line. I'll change the yellow line to light blue. Gray line, I'll just keep it gray. We don't add too many color into the graphics. Then you give the atmosphere of professionalism. There are two things missing. The labels on the X and the Y. Let's go to select your graph. Go to chart design, add chart element, axis title, so primary horizontal, then you'll get the x-axis. 
And here that's type, for example, like time. We can also add the Y axis. This maybe percentage, something like this. Uh, yeah, that's the principle for making your graphics looks like they're on nature.